there are certain times when you just feel blessed. You just feel like a good thing happened and it comes out of nowhere. I mean, not necessarily nowhere. I mean, maybe you're digging for it, but we have recently moved from our two bedroom apartment into a four bedroom house. We're still renting and it's the same price as the apartment. Uh, technically there's five rooms, but one of them doesn't have a door. It's kind of like a little den thing. I call it a den. It's like a second living room. It's huge. It's a huge house. It, uh, just fell into our lap because <laughs> our lease was coming to an end. We didn't know, are we going to move? Am I going to get a new job and move us across the country? What's going to happen? So we went month to month at the apartment that we were in and looking around the area. We kind of want to stay close to this daycare because right now she's working and I'm working. Juggling the kids is a little hard. Do we want her to be stay at home watching the kids? Absolutely. But I can't support us at that level yet. I'm working on it. And she has been the biggest support in the whole world. She's been the biggest trooper. What, what, how do you say? Like she has, she has such a good attitude. <laughs> she does not care. I hope none of her coworkers watch this, but she does not care about her job that much. At least not nearly as much as she likes being a mom. And so thank you, wife, for everything you do and helping to keep us in food and with a roof and housing and all that. And the housing, oh my goodness. So like I was saying, huge upgrade, right? Lots of, lots of new space. Moving was moving it's not my favorite thing to do in the world but when you've got a handful of people who are willing to help you out oh that makes it so much better i i am very blessed in having help to uh to come to our aid while we were transferring the house over um yeah so still you know 50 plus years away from buying a house at the current interest rates and housing prices and I, frankly i'm not worried about that at all um yeah, I've, I've done the calculations. Uh, the break-even point for us, for where renting is throwing money away versus buying and building equity, whatever. Uh, the the break-even point for that is under the 200000 mark on a uh, purchase of a home, obviously with a 20% down payment. And A, we don't have a 20% down payment saved up. And B, there's no home that we're willing to live in that's $200,000, not in this area anyway. And... Would I be willing to move somewhere that's a little more rural? 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 <laughs> Would I be willing to move somewhere that's at a lower cost of living? Of course. Of course. I grew up in a small town. I miss it. I, but right now I'm not quite qualified to work a fully remote job and support the family. Even if we were living in the uh, middle of nowhere, Montana, let's say. Nothing wrong with Montana. Just middle of nowhere. It's the first state I thought of. Um, shout out to all you people in Montana. Tell me how it is. Uh, what, what are things like? I grew up in the Washington area, so I, I just assume it's a one-to-one -one likeness to the, those two states. You know, there's mountains, there's snow, four seasons, Montana. That's all, that's all I got. So, um, yeah, moving went well and the kids are healthy. Our little guy broke his foot in December and... He was practicing a Christmas recital for daycare and uh, one of his little friends ran into him and fractured one of the bones in there. So he had a cast for a while and now he's out of the cast and we're doing very minor physical therapy. It's just his parents. We're not taking him into a center or anything. And <laughs> he runs around a lot. And the other day we played a game where we stand on one foot and we rotate our ankle and... Um, We'll get a little better at that. I think I should do that more regularly because I think he'll bounce back just fine. Just keep him walking and, you know, not jumping off of stuff. He'll be just fine. But also another part of me is like, maybe you should sit with him and, I don't know, have have him do the alphabet with his toes. Yeah, you know, get more mobility and, and stretching. But uh, the flip side of that is he's three years old. You ever try to get a three-year-old to do yoga? Super possible for like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so we just run around a lot <laughs> and it, it's working out fine um little girls healthy oh my goodness so 
the boy was very rambunctious growing up, right? Always finding a new way to play and surprise us. Uh, a wonder, a joy. The girl growing up, also a wonder and joy, but way faster at picking stuff up. Uh, talking much sooner. Um, her level of pretend is almost on par with his. It's just different. You know, he, he stacks up his dinosaurs and uh, gives them all names and gives them little scenarios that they're playing through. And she sets a table and is like, like look, I have made you soup and here's some coffee. Mm. And the whole thing is set out. Everything has its own place. And she's stirring the thing. She's like, look at this. This is hot. And she blows on it. It's the cutest thing ever. And <laughs> it's amazing to see. I Is it differences in boys and girls? Is it because she's a second sibling? So she's looking up to him and learning from him as well. I don't know. But she's quick. She is quick. And... Um, what more updates can we do? Let's see. Last semester was crazy for my wife's schedule. So we've gone down one class uh, for what she's teaching. And that'll open up some more time with family. And time to record these things. Because moving is over. Yes, we're still unpacking and setting it up. And her schedule is a little more relaxed. And my job is going swimmingly. Uh, it's fine. We'll have an update on that later. Um kids are healthy <laughs> so I have one of those bedrooms I was talking about I have an office set up and that's awesome it's not just mine it's everyone's office the kids go in there the boy is adorable he's like I, I need to do some work <laughs> so he sits down at the desk and he starts typing on the laptop the other <laughs> the other day he typed something into the browser and um, the closest way to describe it was as a regular expression for any of you in the uh, realm of programming <laughs> It looked kind of like a, a regular expression, kind of. Uh, but I just, I know he's he's the next great programmer of our of our coming age. So, way to go, buddy. I'll love you no matter what you do. If you ever watch this, you're gonna do great. So yeah, the office is there, and I've got a place where I can work. Working from home is better. I don't have to double up the bedroom as an office. That's great. Um, we're setting up seating and investing more in some infrastructure so these kinds of things like a video are much much easier to film and edit and produce rather than like we have five minutes what do we do I'm gonna take a bath and go to bed because I'm exhausted <laughs> and we're just spread over way too much stuff so with the um, toning down of that much stuff and the moving over and the office is available Let's invest our time into YouTube a little more. So that's what's been going on. Moving, work, kids, broken feet, balancing two work schedules that are insane. And um, what else? Uh, around Christmas, we, we went and visited my in-laws, her parents. It was, it was a great week. <laughs> we stayed inside mostly because it was raining. You know, walked to the library, the kids play over there and there's, there's like some playgrounds in the area. I, it was very fun. It's good to see everyone, spend Christmas with them, call the rest of the family. Uh, then we had one of my cousins fly out to help us move. She stayed with us for a week. Pretty run of the mill, just family time, working, and family time. So, um, that's about all I got. I'm going to head back to work. I just finished up a, a lunch break. You guys are sitting right now in a new phone holder in the car, and it doesn't it doesn't um, click on the sides. It's based on a gravity weight system. It's, it's kind of neat. I mean, you set the phone in there, and it closes and opens accordingly, so there's no release button or anything. But because you don't adjust the side hinges holding the phone at this nice wonky angle, uh, I've got it at kind of a wonky angle as I just said. So definitely have that office up and running shortly <laughs> and we'll get back to you. Do you guys ever do that? You ever do the finger guns? You know, I always want to, I always think it's, it's, it's a hilarious, I, for some reason I like it, but 
I've never done it in public, and I would feel really weird doing it in the workplace. Today, today at work was the weirdest thing. So, a coworker <laughs> said something like, "We'll use a life vest, and and that'll be fine." And I said, "Yeah, because it worked out fine on the Titanic." You know, I'm just I. I thought it was funny. <laughs> and then later another employee said something and uh, maybe that was too dark a humor. It all went over fine. Um, but after the second employee also made a joke, you know, within a half an hour, that first employee who was talking about life as was like, oh, a lot of testosterone in this office. I'm like, I, I guess. Is this sense of humor, testosterone. My joke was kind of dark. I mean, life vest on the Titanic. I could see how it, you know, it's a little, I, I don't know. That was just, it's weird. It's like, is that coming across kind of gruff? Like, ha oh, life vests on the Titanic. I remember my job in the steel mill when I chopping wood with the oil rig. And like, is that how I said that? I don't know. But I'm on a list somewhere now, so that's cool. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Let me know what you want to see next. <laughs> Let's go film in an office. I hope your day is going well. We'll talk to you later.